we are still here on the Norwegian breakaway and I'm doing an extra video because I'm a little bit fired up because it turns out Norwegian is trying to keep your money. So let's talk about it. Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips. And here is everything that I have to tell you and what you should be aware of if you are going to go on a, on a Norwegian cruise anytime soon or if you are on one right now. So first of all, let me lay the groundwork for you and let you know that when Gordon and I went on the Norwegian Encore, when I got home, I felt like doing a video titled, Is Norwegian Trying to Keep Your Money? But then I thought, you know what, maybe uh, this doesn't happen all the time. And I was erring on the side of being extra cautious about what I said because I wasn't positive. But after what happened to us today, I am very positive. So when we went to disembark off of the Norwegian Encore, as we were literally embark trying to disembark the ship, when um, I got through the little um, border security, you know how they have the facial recognition, I got through just fine, but they stopped Gordon and said, you need to go get in that line over there. So so Gordon goes over and gets in the line over there. So a few things with that, and so and it's a long line. It's a really long line. So I thought, well, I'm going to go over there because I realized that in my bag was his wallet. And I thought, if he's in this line for I don't know what, he is maybe going to need his ID. So I went over there, just literally walked over and handed him his wallet on my way back. The guy gave me a lot of grief and he was like, what are you doing over there? And I said, well, I was just handing my husband his wallet because he's in this long line. And he's like, where's your passport? And I pointed over to my bags there where I had left it. I said, it's over there. And he says, well, how did you get over there? And I said, I just walked. And he's like, well, I have to see your passport again. So I showed him my passport again, and he let me go over to where I'd been standing and wait for Gordon. Turns out we were in that line because we had a um, credit balance on our account there on Norwegian, and they wanted to give us cash for it. All right. Now, first of all, there was, of course, our credit card was attached to our account. So why didn't they just refund it to our credit card? That's what I thought was really funny about the whole thing, and it took forever. It was over an hour between when he got in that line and they were finally done. There was only one person, and then it became clear they were giving out refund money. The very interesting thing about it, though, is there were several people that were waiting in that line, and even though they knew that it would be for a refund, some of them would get up there, find out what it was for, and say, you know what, I don't have time for this. I am supposed to be at the airport. I'm running. And so they, Norwegian, got to keep their money. And it happened to several people because they, I would hear them. They would come over to whoever was waiting with them and say, you know what, they say we've got a credit, but we've got to go. And um, there were a couple of people that once they heard that, they just got out of the line and said, I don't have time to screw with this. So Norwegian would get to keep their money. Well, let me tell you what happened to us today. So we were looking at our onboard account and we had a credit balance, $63.02. So we looked, um, we had already seen the shops, and you know what, merchandising on cruise ships I think has hit an all time low. That's a dis um, discussion for another day, but there wasn't anything I even remotely wanted, or that Gordon even remotely wanted, and so I th said, well, you know what, that, um, that um, credit balance should be one that they'll refund. Let's go down to customer service and get it. So we went down to customer service for that. And then also, because we had missed the day at Harvest Key, the, um, the uh, port fees and taxes that went with that stop were only $10 a person. But due to being in the uh, vloggers um, extravaganza, due to being on their Facebook page, we learned that if you wanted that $10 back, you had to go down to customer service, fill out a form, and ask for it. They just did not automatically credit it back to everyone on the ship's account. So we thought, well, we're going to ask for that too while we're there. So we get down there. He gives us $63 back. Now, our credit was $63.02, and he said they only give back whole dollars. And so if your credit due back is like $63.98, do they give you $64? No, they give you $63. And so two things about that. First of all, um, I do a accounting for a living, so what do you do with those two cents and those other odd senses? Norwegian just keeps it is what happens but with that accounting like if I am off by a penny I go back and find that penny so that's got to drive their accounting team nuts they have to be making like all these allowances to account for this money that they're keeping the second thing is is um, 
for that $10 Fee. Now, mind you, when you book a cruise, your port fees and taxes and expenses as are usually called, you pay for that when you book your cruise. It's part of the fare that you pay, right? It's part of what is due before your cruise is paid in full. So he tells us that that $10 each will be credited back to our account by six o'clock this evening. So I said to him, so we can come back then and ask for that back in cash. No, that's non-refundable. That's not right, you guys, on two levels. Number one, we paid for it. That is not like a gratis, that is not the kind of onboard credit that you get that is not refundable. That was our money that we paid before we took the cruise. And the other point I wanna make about that is, okay, so they canceled the port day there at Harvest Key. If that is $10 a person, say you've got, I'm gonna say 4,000 people on a ship, that's $40,000 that Norwegian just made if nobody asks for it back. Now, even if you have a thousand people, and several people were saying, well, I'm not gonna go do that for just $10, okay? So then the cruise line gets to keep it. So say you have a thousand people on your ship out of that 4,000, you've got a thousand passengers that are budget conscious, and they're like, well, I'm gonna go ask for mine back, and they go do it. That still means that you made $30,000 because you've got 3,000 passengers who um, didn't ask for it back and so you just keep it and then if that doesn't show up on our account correctly this evening by six o'clock then um if we buy something then we'll just have to pay for it but what am i going to want for twenty dollars on the ship right there's nothing for twenty well there's i'm sure a few things here and there you could get for twenty dollars but the point is who wants to go spend money that you paid that you should be getting back for something you don't really want by now i would have bought something if i don't wanted it right and so I just wanted to give everybody a heads up about that with Norwegian. You know what, I, I just am very much taken aback by that and I don't think it's right. Whenever we sail on Princess, and we have sailed on Princess before that we have missed ports, that money is credited right back to our shipboard account every time it has been. We have been sailing in the Caribbean last year and we didn't get to go to Belize because of the winds. We've been in... Um, can't remember where else we oh Victoria we've missed Victoria Canada um, on an Alaskan cruise a couple times I can't remember everywhere but we have gotten our port fees and taxes just automatically refunded to our ship on shipboard account so I just want to make you all aware of that and I know that it's just two cents and I know that it's just ten dollars but in the end um, it's money and it's not theirs. <laughs> and so to me, that is very notable. And then also, if you go to another port and you know you go on another cruise, you miss another port, often port fees and taxes are way more than $10. And so um, I think this is a, like a money-making venture for New Norwegian. And I really wouldn't think that, and I would hate to say that, except for that's what happened. That's what they're doing. And so I just, a quick heads up to everybody, ask for your port fees and taxes back on any cruise that you're on. And um, just don't forget to go get back your onboard credit money because I don't know, we might have had to stand in a line tomorrow morning if we hadn't gone and asked for that back. And then if you don't have time in the morning, people are going to lose their money. So don't forget to ask for that on your last day at sea. So, so when you think about all of those um, cents, all the portions of a dollar that they're keeping, um, like I said, you can, um, you have to make a lot of allowances in your accounting to account for that, right? But I would also like to add, it makes it really easy for someone to take money from you without you knowing when you're not following, when you're doing crazy accounting like that, right? Because you've got all these fractions of dollars floating around out there and you're making some allowances for it. Like, how do you know in the long run long run like what is real and what's not it makes it so much easier for somebody to help themselves now the other really thing interesting thing when I was talking to Gordon about this because I'm so indignant um, he was reminding me in the first Superman movie about like Richard Pryor was playing the guy who was the accountant for um, Lex Luthor is that his name the guy and he realizes on his time card that he is not getting paid for the fractions of um, time like he's just getting paid for the minutes rather than for the fractions of minutes right Lev? Something like that. Something like that and so he reprograms it so that he gets um, paid for all the fractions of time that are getting missed on everybody's thing and like Gordon says the next day he drives in in a Ferrari that really highlights how important it is 
Like, how do you do accounting like that? And where else is it going? And so anyway, and then the other thing I wanted to say um, is Gordon looked up and our taxes, part fees and expenses for this cruise were $166 and change. Um, and there I go throwing away the cents. Was it 64 cents? Each. Each. And so the $10 was part of that. So we should just um, get it back. And then along with this, I thought I would point out to you all, this is a side note, but this is a good day to mention it is, um, you know, when you book a Princess package, whether you get the Princess Plus package or you get the Princess Premier package, all in, um, it includes the gratuities for the drink package that you're getting. And with a Premier package, when you get the specialty dining with it, it includes the gratuities that go with that specialty dining. I wanted to point out to you that with, um, Norwegian they don't do it that way um, and this is not a crazy accounting thing this is just a heads up for those of you that have cruised on Princess and you have not cruised on Norwegian yet so in our package it included two specialty dinings during the seven-day cruise but we had a separate line item on our invoice for our whole cruise that included the dining surcharges which was the gratuities on the amount of um, of the um, value of the specialty dinings that we received and so that was an additional charge we had to pay the gratuities on that and I just think it's wonderful that Princess doesn't do that when they give you a package they include the gratuities with what is part of that package and so to me that's a little bit more of a value um, when you cruise on Princess and the package that you choose it includes all the gratuities so I just wanted to put this in here for you if you have any of you have experienced this or have anything else to add or anything to share about how any other cruise lines manage anything else with accounting that you find interesting or helpful for the rest of us please do put it down below if you have not hit subscribe yet will you please subscribe to our channel we really need you with us and it lets YouTube know that we're doing something here of value to someone else if you appreciate these updates please give us a thumbs up because that really helps as well I'll be talking to you all again really soon. You all take really good care. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye.